Alleluia, the Lord is risen. Christ has risen indeed. Alleluia. Good morning. My name is Father Andrew Kellner, and I'm the chaplain at St. James School in North Philadelphia. This morning we begin our time with prayer by remembering that we are in the holy presence of God. Alleluia, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. This is a reading from the book of Exodus. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided, and the people of Israel went into the midst of the sea on dry ground, the waters being a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. The Egyptians pursued and went in after them into the midst of the sea all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And in the morning watch, the Lord in the pillar of fire and of cloud looked down upon the hosts of the Egyptians and discomfited the hosts of the Egyptians, clogging their char chariot wheels so that they drove heavily. And the Egyptians said, Let us flee from before Israel, for the Lord fights for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the waters may come back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. So Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to its wonted flow, when the morning appeared and the Egyptians fled into it. And the Lord rooted the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the hosts of Pharaoh that had followed them into the sea. Not so much as one of them remained, but the people of Israel walked on dry ground through the sea, the waters being a wall to them on their right and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore, and Israel saw the great work which the Lord did against the Egyptians. And the people feared the Lord, and they believed in the Lord and in his servant Moses. Here ends the lesson. We pause and we offer to God our prayers, our please prayers and our thank you prayers we say at school. Those things that we desire from God for our world and those things that we're grateful for as well. And we gather all of these prayers and we join them together in the prayers that Christ teaches. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Grant, we beseech thee, almighty God that we who celebrate with reverence the Paschal Feast may be found worthy to attain to everlasting joys through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. <laughs> 